Tigers with 11 and a half seconds to go. They've called their play. Let's see what they've come up with. And now Kentucky takes a look at the set and they'll call timeout. Rick Pitino uses his final clock stoppage with 11 and a half left in the ballgame. We'll take a timeout too. Don't go anywhere. I'm sure you won't. 11 and a half seconds to go and LSU with the ball when we come back. Tomorrow on ESPN. Brad Nessler and Larry Conley in Baton Rouge. Can LSU now find a way to come from behind? How odd is it to say that? The only other time they have trailed tonight was one to nothing. Now it's 96-95. This is how the scoring has gone. This half, LSU led by 31 at the 15-30 mark. It was 68 to 37. Since then, Kentucky 59 to 27 to take the lead. Ronnie Henderson has been the offense tonight for LSU as he got one more shot left in it. Here we go. Henderson's got 36 for the game. It's going to be Brandon, one on one. Brandon against Brasso. He missed it. Kentucky rebounds. Immediately they foul dealt with 4.4 seconds left. Brandon made the attempt. He went down the lane, realizing he had Brasso on him, and there was no help from Kentucky's defense. I thought Brandon was going to get an open, wide open shot down underneath. But they got there and now dealt with a chance to really seal this one away. Tony is a 66% free throw shooter. This is his first trip to the line. It's going to be obviously two shots. Everybody over the limit and fouls. So we'll talk about the situation after his first one. Which he missed. Now, LSU only needs a two-point shot to win this game or to tie the game and a three-pointer to win. Dell hits the second one. If I'm LSU, I get it somehow to Ronnie Henderson. He's going long. Catch made by Gibson. He had to go up hard and a travel as he came down. And how tough is that? It was about the only thing they could do. They had to get into the front court, and Kentucky was really putting the pressure on up front. They would not allow them to come in. Kentucky's defense made a good play that time. Now all they got to do is get it in, put it in that man's hands. He doesn't miss free throws. Not very often, anyway. 89% of the time he hits them. 2.2 ticks left as Travis Ford will be going down to the free throw line. Sports Center is next, 2.2 seconds away, barring. Anything else stranger could happen like overtime in this one. And how must those young men feel after the performance they put on? I mean, it was a show in the first half for LSU. It became a double feature in Kentucky's favor after halftime. This one will seal it. And maybe one of the greatest comebacks I've seen in a long, long time. I don't know if the NCAA keeps track of things like this, but when's the last time you saw somebody down 31 with 15 to go and win the game? And they're going to. They got it. Free throw will they do got it. it. They Anderson want it. We'll put it up. It doesn't matter if it goes. As Kentucky has pulled off a comeback miracle in Baton Rouge. An unbelievable finish. Kentucky wins it 99-95 over LSU. For Larry Conley and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Brad Nessler. I hope you've had as much fun as we have. That's going to do it from Baton Rouge. Kentucky, double O, Dallas.